Elon and Tesla's Twitter account tonight tweeted out that lane change without confirmation with Navigate on Autopilot is here. Find out more coming up on this episode of Tesla Tweets. Hey everyone, Jeff here from Pure Tesla. It's great to have you joining us on this episode of Tesla Tweets where we're talking all about Navigate on Autopilot and the tweet that was sent out confirming that lane change without confirmation is here. Elon tweeted out saying, this is way more awesome than it sounds, referring to the tweet from the Tesla account stating that Navigate on Autopilot is growing in its feature set. It's stating that Lane change without confirmation is here and will be rolling out to cars starting today. We're not sure if that is included in 8.3 or 8.4 or if it's a software update that hasn't even been released yet, but we do know that it is a feature that is available today, wherever that may be. So more information on that I'm sure will be coming and we'll be sure to update in the comments below. We'll pin it to the top so that you can find it really quickly as we get more information. We'll be sure to add it there as well. Let me take you through the details of the new Navigate on Autopilot features. As posted on the company blog, people have driven 66 million miles using Navigate on Autopilot. They also stated that 9 million lane change suggestions have been successfully completed by the system as well. At this point, Tesla believes that their software is ready to be able to enable the option to not have to confirm every lane change that takes place. Now there's gonna be three different options that are gonna be added to your Navigate on Autopilot settings in your settings window under Navigate. These are what they're gonna be. Enable at the start of every trip. Now what that means is that if you turn that setting on, as soon as you start a trip, it will automatically enable Navigate on Autopilot. You will no longer have to tap the Navigate on Autopilot button that's usually grayed out but then turns to blue when you tap it. That will already be enabled if you turn on that setting. The second setting is Require Lane Change Confirmation. This is a simple on and off toggle. If the setting is on, it will require you to, just as before, confirm a lane change. If that setting is off, it will automatically enable that lane change when the system detects it needs to, whether that's for navigation purposes or to overtake a slower vehicle. And the third option is lane change notification. What lane change notification will do is give you a chime or an alert when a lane change is about to take place. Now, you'll also notice that a pop-up will come up on your screen that allows you to cancel that lane change before it actually takes place. You can also use the turn signal stock to cancel that as well. On vehicles later than 2017, you can also enable the slight rumble in the steering wheel to also signify that a lane change will be taking place without confirmation. Now it's stated that early access program members have been driving with this feature for quite some time. In fact, they've driven over half a million miles using this feature. It's really exciting to hear that, and I'm looking forward to seeing videos coming up in the near future with this feature enabled. That said, I haven't yet to see any YouTube videos detailing the features, and I'm guessing that all of these people are restricted by a non-disclosure agreement. All of that to say is as soon as we get that feature, you better believe that we'll be putting out a video detailing each aspect of it and giving a review. Navigate on Autopilot with lane change confirmation turned off will be available to those with these two packages, Enhanced Autopilot and Full Self Driving. This is very good news for all of you with Enhanced Autopilot who when the two new packages, Autopilot and Full Self Driving were announced, were worried that you might get glossed over with the new features that had yet to been released. Tesla made good on their promises and anyone with Enhanced Autopilot and Full Self Driving will be getting Navigate on Autopilot without lane change confirmation. They did wanna make specific note that this, this is not an autonomous vehicle. You still are in control of your vehicle at all times, and this is merely a driver assist feature. They continually state in each of their correspondence when they release new features like this, that regulatory approval will still be required to achieve that full self-driving. But this is another great step towards that reality. For those of you outside of the US, you're gonna be waiting a little bit longer for this feature, and some of you are still waiting for Navigate on Autopilot. Tesla stated at the end of their press release that it does intend to release this to countries outside of the United States, but it is still waiting on regulatory approval for not only Navigate on Autopilot, but also, obviously, 
navigate on autopilot without lane change confirmation. While that tweet definitely steals the show today, we do have a couple of other tweets that are worth mentioning. Cheryl Crow tweeted out that she was stuck in a parking lot because she couldn't get the screen of her Tesla to be bright enough for her to be able to drive. She tweeted out, help, who knows what to do when your Tesla screen goes black and the reset doesn't work? Return it and get your money back? Elon responded pretty quickly stating, change your screen preference from night mode to auto. That then sparked another conversation stating that night mode with 0% is actually too dark during the day. This is ultimately Tesla's fault. We'll update our software so that 0% brightness is always usable relative to ambient conditions. Somebody then responded outside of the conversation, please don't. Those of us that drive at night sometimes prefer a very dim screen light to be able to contemplate the stars when on autopilot. Elon responded to that tweet saying, night mode default brightness is actually too high in my opinion, should be lower and allow below current 0% level making that adjustment too. One more person chimed into the whole conversation stating somewhat the obvious. It should have gone back to normal with the reset though and Elon agreed. Our last tweet from Tesla Tweets today is actually quite an interesting one. Elon was on a roll with very interesting tweets and we're not gonna cover all of them because there's no need to. But there is one that's very interesting and he said that the he is making the Onion articles real by tweeting out a article from Rolling Stone about his Elon Musk surprise rap song honoring Harambe and his rest in peace song. We'll play that as we roll the credits. But until next time, thanks so much for tuning in on this episode of Tesla Tweets. Again, we will keep the comments updated with any new information that gets posted about the new features or the things that were discussed in today's episode. If you have any questions or comments, certainly leave them in the comments below. You can reach me on Twitter at Pure Tesla, and you can email me, Jeff at PureTesla.com. Until next time, hope you have a great week. Take care. Strong.